So this is this is the clinic, uh, the smoke pack space clinic. Let's see, I'm reading a chart on the wall. We're gonna do some scales real quick. Hang on, give me a second, guys. This is this should be major blue scale. I'm kind of just fucking around reading a chart off the wall being a little weird, so you guys need to kind of just understand what the situation is here. This is how you're, you're watching how a musician musicians, if people are like, oh, I can never do it. I can never do it. This is what you're doing. You're, you're being crazy, you're yelling, and you're just... That took a long time just for me to bust that shit out, but you can do it. You can do it. It takes a lot of practice. Uh, for me, I could just put the bass down and pick it up. Uh, I get rusty, but I can remember things. Like, I'm able to pull songs out of my head from, like, 10 years ago that I haven't played. But the more you play, the more you keep the oil in your bones, uh, the less rusty you'll be, okay? I don't know. Do your own research. Get a guitar or a bass. Get a bass, fuck, don't get a guitar. Get a bass, get a bass guitar. Get this, not sponsored, not trying to be sponsored, but I wish I was and I should be. This Ibanez Geo Sound Gear. This is a starter bass, this is about like 150, 200 bucks. Get your mom and dad to buy you one of these, okay? Save up the pot money. Do whatever it is you're doing, stop and, and, and re-divert that money into this. For it, it takes a month, okay, if you have to stop doing whatever it is you're doing. Magic cards, I don't know. Get it, Ibanez. It's pronounced Ibanez, I believe, but Ibanez. Geo, G-I-O, sound gear. I know it says Geo Ibanez sound gear, but it's just stylized, it's just chill. This is a beginner base. I've had this since 2010, 2011. Spring of 2010 or 2011. We talked about it before. This bass got road mileage though, baby. She's a trooper. Right? So, that being said. Bust them out. I, I actually wanted, and I hate this, I hate this tuner I, I have from a buddy. I don't know, I feel like there's better tuners. These are like ones you clip on your, your neck, or the headstock, and you just kind of wind it on in, tune it on up. I kind of don't like this thing. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, hey, we're in tune. Hey, yo. See, it always craps out on the E string. Oh, there we go. So you got to tune with harmonics. If you can remember uh, how C sounds, you should be able to remember. The thing is, uh, when I tune by ear, I'm always tuning too low. My my, I'm not tone deaf, but in my head, I'm hearing tones lower than how they actually are when they I receive them. Because I'm a bass player. But you want to go one, two, three, four, fifth fret. Start your Easter. Get drunk at Easter, guys. Get drunk at Easter. This is down, this is going down. You see how my hand is going up? Oh, he's going up. No, we're going down. That's low, you hear how low that is? This is going up, when you see my hands going down, that's really going up, why? You hear that? 
Not to condescend or anything to to the chat. I love you guys. But you're, you're, this is how I, I guess I would teach. So you hear that? That's going up. This is going down. I'm only telling you this because my friends had to beat this into me. Because I, it, up until like two years ago, I wouldn't, I wouldn't conform. But you need to conform in some regards to this. Because you need to give respect to the instrument. Okay, guys? It's a piece of wood. It was a living ent entity. And then they wrought iron around it and bounded it, formed its shape, and then casted it, and then gave it a nice silky finish. So you can play the devil's music on it. Okay, guys, come on. Now, there's scales you can practice. We've talked about it. You can do that all up and down, or you can kind of mix in between each different notes. You need to learn how to do that. As you watch me, you will maybe pick it up. And hopefully I will pick it up more. But it's it's just this is just a scale we're gonna about to run. Well no, but his hands, what about his thingies? They're hurting. Yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, they're hurting. They're gonna. You have to slide it. You got you have to destroy the skin. Destroy the skin. You need working man's hands. You gotta get them them construction workers' hands, boys. Cause it's the only way you're gonna be able to touch this thing without being like. When I first played bass, I couldn't put my hands on the strings or even guitar for that matter, cause I would get uh, goosebumps. But you go, you you build resistance over time to the whole thing. It's like I said, it's the devil's instrument, guys. Back into focus. I use a pick when I bass. This is a Dava, not sponsored, but we should be. We'll reach out. They, uh, it's a bendy pick. We've talked about it before. It's nice. This is a, a very loose one, but they have different styles. See that flex? That's good. I like that flex. Uh, they're guitar picks, but I've been using them for bass for a very long time. Thank you. 
And I was practicing Aeolian mode, which is a scale. I learned this off a of scale. I just pulled this out of thin air right now, right in front of your fucking faces on a self-taught basis. I am not anyone. I'm not nobody. We are all somebody, you know. Uh, so this is, I wish I had my music friends here in chat, like in a voice chat with me so I could, they could explain it more. But I've been putting on a clinic for you guys. Now, Aeolian mode is a natural minor scale. It's a seven note scale. And scales, you, it's, it's literally, you know, a scale is do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, si, do. Okay, guys, so you could do that across. Or you could do it, I don't know how to do this one on all the strings, I'm stupid, but. Which is crazy, because that's the most basic scale uh, I'm trying to tell you guys. It's, it's a fucking Ionian mode, which is literally what we do all the time. It's... That scared even me, holy shit. God damn, that scared, guys, that, that scared me. That fucking scared me. You just watched the devil's instrument take work. I had nothing to do with that. That's fucking terrifying. All I, all I did, all I did was just, you guys, this is literally all you need to do. You, you, fuck all the scales arpeggios, but if you're gonna find the one, you know the, you know what I'm saying, that song we've all heard. Learn that song on any instrument, whether it be a keyboard or, or whatever, you know. It's on everything. It's called transposing. Uh, all I did was just figure out. Across the multiple strings, because each note is on everywhere, you know. Uh, yeah, dude, that was, I'm kind of, I'm kind of. <laughs> Got a little amazed at myself right here now, guys. Thank you for being here at this magical moment. Yeah, diatonic. Diatomic. The devil did take over, bro. That was scary. I didn't, I didn't know how I felt about that. So, let me adjust myself here. All right, we're going to pick up another scale because that was fun as fuck. That was crazy to me. Let's, let's check out Phrygian mode. Now, Phrygian mode is a seven-note scale. It's going to go... Chill, chill, chill. Chill, chill, chill. All right, here we go. Let me turn up my monitoring a bit in my ear. All right, Phrygian mode. Do, do, do. It's okay to look at your hands, guys. This isn't math. It's not math class. We're good. That's crazy me. And and now you're it sounds like booty, you guys, I know, but watch, trust the process. As always, he does it, he does it. I think I skipped one there. All right, he's him, he's him, he's him. So now I'm gonna go. Dun, dun. So I got it on the G string, down here, er, up here, down here. Sorry, I'm getting confused. Down here on the G string. This is down. This is up. 
because this is low, this is high, okay? We talked about it earlier in the clinic. We'll be on the tape, you can rewind. Now, if you rewind, you came back to this part and we're gonna learn Phrygian mode a bit on another, on two strings, we're gonna fuck around with it. Here we go. All right, so three, four times. Whoa, where'd that come from? That was pretty cool. I like that. I like that. All right, I'm getting a little crazy now with it. I, I need to just take a second. That was pretty crazy. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know why I've never done this before my entire life of playing bass and just decided now I got to do it because now everything makes sense. When I, when I end the stream, if at all today, I think I'm going to be just playing bass all day. So that's pretty cool. So getting back to it, what do we got here? And if, if you just type in scales, guitar scales, bass scales, you're going to get a whole thing where it's going to show you the lines. Uh, the fucking numbers and shit like that. You're not going to really understand. It took me 10 years just to get to this point to learn things that maybe a seven-year-old whose mom is paying for lessons is going to learn, okay? I get it. But it's not... It, you learn at your own pace. School school lied to us with that whole A, B, C, top of the class, best of the class, you're, how fast you're learning. School lied to us, guys. You pick it up at your own pace. Unless you're like in, in a situation where you need to know that shit and lives are on the line, I guess. I don't know, but it's not that serious. I, learning tabs is the best thing to do though. So if, if you learn tabs, everyone's like, don't do it, learn the way that I'm trying to learn now. Yeah, sure. Learn the fucking tabs, dude. Learn the tabs, because that's gonna help you build your ear Usually tabs aren't playing the way the original musician did. Someone's kind of guesstimating. So get a tab down and then start using your ear and abandoning the tab, I guess. Like, like there's sometimes I could just, if I could tell that it's in standard tuning, I could just pick up a bass and play along to a song and just really crank one out. But uh, I'm also kind of scared and nervous to do that, you know? Wow, really had to lean back for that last hit of coffee. Sorry about that. Ugh. A little weak burp there. Sorry about that. All right, so the major pentatonic scale, five note scale, R, two, three, five, six. So root. <laughs> Got it, we're locked in. Let's go here. Skip one, skip Thank you. 
That's the coffee demons right there taking over. Sorry about that. A little bit of the coffee scaries. Coffee zooms. I was trying to play a song for you guys last time. Let's see. It's so hard to sing and play bass at the same time, so you're kind of watching me practice too. You're kind of getting the more intimate side here. There we go, get the shiny out of my face. A lot of the songs you guys will hear me play over and over again, just because I'm not, I'm self-taught, you know. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but I, I just don't, I can't pick up and just play, oh, hey, let me just do uh, some RHCP real quick, you know. I'm not, I'm not one of your Instagram bassists. I'm, not, I'm the real deal, just regular bassist who should practice more. <sighs> Key out my Gatorade. I wipe my hand on my chest. That's the kind of, you don't get that from, from uh, I don't know, Mono Neon, shout out. He's a, he's a cool bassist. Ooh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play you a good one, guys. Guitar Hero. Tario.
I'm going to bully all of, all of the, the Smoke Packs fans into owning a bass guitar, and then we're going to have a large meetup where we just bring our bass guitars, and I'll teach you guys. How's that sound? Again, this is a $150, $130, $100, $200 bass. This is a garage sale bass guitar. Ibanez Geo Sound Gear. Sponsor me. Uh, been using this for since 2010, 2011. It's been on the road. It is a dog. It is a warrior. It is my baby, my child, my only bass. So, I think I think that's what you guys gotta do. But uh, I get what you're saying, though, Plop. Sometimes though, you just know when things just aren't the move for you. Uh, even for me, it's like I can't. I don't want to do music as like a hobby. I want to do something with it. But there's people I know who are just into it as a hobby or into it as something that they did professionally but now they just keep it to themselves which is cool too some people just knew it wasn't for them other people did and I think when you just pick up an instrument too you kind of know too like you live a life and, and go through it and you just know yeah but I, I will always advocate and I will always bully respectfully and love from a place of love to play a bass guitar so Only I can kill my own song. Okay, guys, chill. Let me deconstruct that one. You guys worry about just just listening to it. Okay. <clears throat> For real, every time I play bass, this is really my my natural environment. This is kind of what I'm sitting around doing when I'm not really doing much. Sorry if that's fucked up in your guys' ears. I don't care. I lost my monitoring. Hang on. There it is. All right. 
put it back in there, please. Thank you. Did I just do that? Hold the fuck up. That was crazy, I just did Zelda. That is insane to me. That is crazy. That crazy to me. That was insane to me. That was psychotic. Oh my god. It was funny as hell. Oh my god. All right. We'll crank out a little bit more bass. I'm going to take a quick break. I need to stand.